Have you ever thought about saving up a lot of money for a vacation trip? Maybe a new car or something lavish that you couldn't afford all at once? Then you're aware of how money has the uncanny tendency to vanish overnight right after payday. However, it appears that the Japanese have figured out how to keep it in your wallet for longer and even, get this, multiply it. The Kakebo Method of Budgeting The Kakebo Budgeting Method is becoming increasingly popular around the world, and for good reason. Why should you pay attention to the Japanese? Well, Japan was a traditional agricultural country a century ago. And definitely no robots, nothing as we know it now. So how did it become the most technologically advanced country in the world, with a developed economy and among the highest living standards? One of the reasons is that the Japanese have a high level of financial expertise. They're personal finance experts. They use Kakebo, which means they don't buy a third handbag every two months and save up to 35% of their salary. If it sounds good to you, be prepared to take notes. Kakebo is a Japanese word that means household accounting book. It's a notebook where they kept track of their earnings and expenses before there were any financial applications or digital tables. The Japanese had a system for preparing budgets that still work today. The goal of this saving tool is to keep detailed records of how much you earn and spend, though its ultimate purpose is to help you save more money. Does it appear to be simple? Yes, yes it does. There are no apps, no technology, and no complicated computations. That is exactly the point. You eliminate everything that isn't essential and concentrate on your habits and decisions. Fumiko Chiba, author of Kakebo, The Japanese Art of Budgeting and Saving Money, explains the method's efficiency. Kakebo was first published in 1904 and quickly became popular because of Hani Matako, Japan's first female journalist who sold it to a large audience. Even though Japan is still a traditional culture in many aspects, Kakebo gives women financial freedom and authority according to Chiba. Every year, dozens of books, magazines, and articles devoted to Kakebo are released in Japan. Kakebo enthusiasts know that budgeting is a good way to save money. Instead of worrying about the things you can't afford, you focus on what's important and what you can afford. The Kakebo is based on four main questions. Number 1. How much money do you have? Number 2. How much would you like to save? Number 3. How much do you spend? And number 4. How can you make things better? You'll need two notebooks, one big and one small, to make a Kakebo budget. Special Kakebo journals are available in stores, although any journal will do. Utilize the big one to record your earnings and budget your expenses and savings. The small one, on the other hand, you'll be carrying around with you to keep track of all your spending in real time so you don't forget any. It's simple to use the little notebook, simply make a note every time you spend money. The big notebook can be organized in any way you like, but it must include the following points. A monthly income plan, which can be done as a table or a bullet list. You'll need to keep track of any money you receive as income, such as an advanced payment, a salary, a debt return, or money from selling a second-hand laptop. A monthly savings plan. At the beginning of the month, write down the income you know for sure will get into the table. You can add notes about the extra money in a different color or in block letters. A monthly savings plan. Here, you write down how much money you'd like to put in a money box or a savings account. It's important to decide this amount before you start planning your expenses. A monthly expenses plan. Here, you write down your common expenses like utility bills, apartment, rent, mobile and internet bills. The money that's left after you deduct common expenses and the sum you want to save should be divided into four categories. The first category is expenses on living. Here you include food, household cleaning products, clothes, medicine, gas or subway pass, and more. The second category should be culture and educational courses. Training tickets to museums and books will fall into this category. The third category should be entertainment. Here you will record expenses for leisure time. Though be careful, this might be the black hole eating up your money. This includes meeting with friends, going to the movies, short trips, restaurants, cosmetics, and all the clothes you don't need. You might argue that a person can't survive without another lipstick and five pairs of jeans, but Kakebo is merciless. That's why it works so well. And the fourth category should be miscellaneous. It's for everything else that wasn't mentioned in the last three categories. 
It's up to you to decide the ratio between the four categories. If you plan wisely, it won't be difficult to stay within the limits during the month. At the end of each month, you'll analyze if you've managed to follow the plan and save or spend extra money. It will allow you to drop a more exact budget for the next month and see what expenses need to be corrected. Even if you don't have a big plan to save money, you'll see where most of the money goes. For example, you might spend too much on food. How can you spend less? Well, you might think about skipping lunch at a restaurant or cooking at home instead of taking out your dinner. You'll be amazed at how much you can save on tips only. If going on a shopping spree is your favorite pastime, you'll have to deal with the figures. When you write down everything you buy, recording your bills takes away half of the joy. Although, if you're already driving the car of your dreams, here are some other tricks that will help you save more. In the evening, put all the odd money that you've got in your pockets or in a money box. What seems like a handful of coins will turn into a solid sum at the end of the month. Put all the return debts to the money box. In fact, it's not an income, you're just getting back the money that was taken away from you. But after all, you've managed to live without it all this time. When changing money, put a small amount into the money box. One to two dollars are enough, later they'll turn into a bigger sum. Every time you buy something, round up the sum. If you have a $74 bill, round it to $100 and put the other 26 into the money box. It's a great tool that will allow you to save daily. Work out a system of penalties for yourself. You can punish yourself financially for bad habits like skipping the gym or having an argument with a partner. Every time it happens, put a dollar in your money box. If that's not enough motivation, let it be $10. Although don't be too harsh on yourself. You'll benefit from this anyway. Either you'll get rich or you'll be more disciplined. Divide the money you're going to spend during the month into four parts. Everything that's left from the 7-day budget will go into the money box too. Put off any non-urgent purchases for a month. If you still want to buy it after that, then do it. This will save you from impulsive shopping, which can damage any budget. Always make a shopping list before you go to the supermarket. This piece of advice is as old as the hills, but who actually follows it? Kakebo fans do, and it works for them. You're probably wondering why the most technologically advanced nation keeps writing things down instead of putting everything on an app. Fumiko Chiba says that Kakebo makes you focus on your financial goals better than any digital device. According to studies, we recall what we write down better than what we type on a keyboard. The act of writing activates the area of the brain that allows information to be stored directly in the memory. Typing doesn't do this, our hands do so naturally. That is why motor memory is almost everlasting. Let's assume you'd like to study Japanese, French, or any other language. It is preferable to jot down new terms. If you miss this step, they'll disappear from your memory as soon as you shut down the laptop. We internalize what we write by hand. Therefore, writing personalizes the process. It becomes more important to us, which is why high-tech apps may not be as effective as a pen and notebook. As you can see, the Japanese approach to budgeting is simple and effective. Hundreds of thousands of individuals have benefited from the Kakebo plan all across the world. Do you want to try it or do you prefer digital methods? Well, let us know down in the comments. If you learned something new today, then give this video a like and share it with a friend.